Hey, what is going on everybody out there? This is Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel. And today we're gonna be taking a look at this book here, this art book. It's called Brutal, The Art of Samwise. Now, if you guys don't know, okay, Samwise here, Samwise Dider, he actually is an artist that has done a lot of the different character designs on the fantasy art for games that are usually published by Blizzard. That includes World of Warcraft, that includes Starcraft, Diablo, Heroes of the Storm. There's a lot of different ones. Like again, even looking at the back of the book here, it kind of talks about a few of the actual series that he worked on. Hearthstone, we mentioned, Warcraft, Diablo, World of Warcraft. Uh, I would not be surprised at some point, maybe he did some stuff on Overwatch later on, but still. We're gonna be taking a look at this book. It features a ton of his different artwork. It was sent to me recently by the publisher, so big thank you to them for uh, sending it over for me to look at it for all of you guys. This will be a real treat, because you guys know I love gaming-related art books or coffee table books kind of like this. And it's always fun to see what type of like cool artwork or visual material they have with inside of them. Okay, so we've looked at a bunch of them already, but this is gonna be the first one we're gonna be looking at a book that features a lot of stuff from a more Western game rather than like a Japanese game like a Legend of Zelda or uh, what is it, a Final Fantasy or anything of that nature. So here's the book right here. Okay, let me actually get rid of some of this plastic. Okay, and it has some little, I guess, you know, little little flap right here that just has the most of like the other material that just talks about it, stuff on the back. I thought that was actually part of the book originally, but it's not. Uh, we're going to keep it there because we like making our stuff look really good. So let's just dive right into this and see some of the artwork and see what comes inside of it. So Brutal, The Art of Samwise, uh, has an introduction, which we'll kind of briefly look at. Not really going to read through this, but it talks about a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, it's written by Chris Metzen, who uh, is the co-founder of Warchief Gaming. And he talks about a little bit of the artwork from what I could tell, just quickly glancing at it. So ABC, <laughs> I guess that we're going to start looking at some of this artwork. This is very cool. Again, if you're a fan of Warcraft or old Warcraft games like Warcraft 3, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get a real kick out of this or a real kick out of the design of a lot of these characters. It's very, very Blizzard-esque. So he, since he did a lot of the artwork, this is pretty much where a lot of that comes from. Look at that panda just eating a human. Yeah, disgusting. <laughs> and this cool skull. Like the one thing about fantasy artwork, I will say, you know, about more Western fantasy artwork that isn't really uh, dealing with a lot of like those Japanese mythology stuff. It's more kind of like medieval mythology. Uh, they get very gruesome <laughs> in comparison to a lot of the other ones out there. I think that you could say the same thing about Roman or Greco Roman mythology. It's pretty cool. Uh, we do have some Japanese imagery here with the samurai, you know, with the rose petals and, and everything else. Like, so, you know, a samurai facing down a whole squadron of people. A uh, guy just over here practicing, uh, what is it, practicing on some monument. And then we get into like, I guess the Valkyries or a lot of the barbarian fighters and things like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, what is it called? It has above left page, it says called Broadsword. This one above is called Northern Whore. And that spells H-O-A-R for the record. It's not like what you're thinking. And then here on this side of that full page is called Manowar Tribute, Black Wind, Fire and Steel, which looks really freaking dope. This kind of like two page spread is awesome. Now I'm going to kind of skip through a little bit more. This artwork is pretty dope, man. This is really, really cool looking, very stylized. And it just speaks, you know, to that whole series or those different franchises that you, if you probably play them on PC, like this is all you. Here, check that out. This is actually pretty dope. Looks like a cool siren. This is a little bit of X-Men vibes. It's got all these different like mythological characters like Santa, Jesus, a reindeer, uh, Frosty the Snowman, I bet you. <laughs> Oh man, Frosty the Abominable Snowman, Professor Savior, which is just Jesus of Nazareth, Rudolph or Rude Dolph, and then Santa Claus with the spell Claus in a funny way. It's silly things like this is pretty hilarious. Look, even this one, never forget the cookies. It's so stupid. But uh, yeah, I'm really digging this. We finally get into some more traditional fantasy looking artwork, you know, of different things from like various pieces and i'm not sure if any of these specifically were used oh, okay some of the it does say that some of them were used as promo images for like some of the games and stuff so the last winter when the oceans freezes it says promo digital image or digital image and stuff that were probably used in like marketing material which is very cool like stuff like this you don't get to see like the full like raw image for a lot of like maybe you know any sort of like promo material or posters or banners for some games out there especially again for something like this like world of world world of warcraft or any of the other styles of games. Now I'm curious to know if it has in here any other like stuff maybe related to Diablo or anything of that nature because we're seeing a lot of Warcraft looking things. Well I guess you could say even something like this, The Last Stand of uh, Freya. Well technically uh, it's Norse mythology. Look at that Thor. Well for Comic-Con, oh it says for Comic-Con. 
the right page. This was used for Comic Con. This is just a regular demo, uh, digital image. So it's, this is Hamdalar, maybe not necessarily Thor. I guess Odin, like that is pretty cool. Or Odin with the Avengers, because you could see the Hulk, you could see Iron Man's uh, helmet, you could see Captain America's shield, Thor's hammer. That's actually really cool. That's actually really really cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty dope. Kind of go through this. Get a little bit of like you know Black Death nude artwork. It's not really that bad, so I could show it here on uh, on YouTube. It's not like you know grotesque. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let's keep going here. Just scanning through some of these. This is pretty cool. If that's Thor, <laughs> that's an that's an awesome design for Thor. If that's actually Thor, it says Hammerfall, Hammerfall, Bloodbound. So yeah, Chapter Five, Unbent, Unbowed, Unbroken. That's really cool. That is really freaking dope, man. And then again, Hammerfall, Bushido. It's kind of, I'm going backwards, but I want to go forward. I want to go more towards this stuff, like because look at that, some of these orcs, these orc designs, these like portraits. This is awesome, man. Four eyes. I guess that's another orc, or is it like some from Diablo? But, like a lot of this stuff reminds me of Warcraft orcs or just goblins. Look at this. This is pretty dope with the line work. Very very awesome. So. Basically, you're getting a lot of good visual material in here, man. If you love Brutal Doodles. Okay, so that yeah, this is what all the line work was. So we'll go back that way in just a second. You okay, just want to just take a brief look at all of these. Like I was just saying, if you're a fan of these different, like, you know, pieces of artwork or this type of style of fantasy, this is right up your alley. Like, this reminds me a little bit of the Dungeons & Dragons book that we looked at a long time ago where it had a lot of different like fantasy artwork, you know, involving a lot of these different types of mythologic, mythological creatures, you know, a lot of the legends or kind of like folklore from various cultures. This I could see almost like totally in the same vein, but with a lot more stylized and cool designs for a variety of different things, which I think is great. Like, look at this. Look at this, this is pretty wild too. That worm and everything else, pretty freaking cool, man. Look at this, this looks like a jack-o-lantern <laughs> or it's called pumpkin pun or Pumpkin Fumpkins. <laughs> oh, I get, okay, wow, wow. Like, look at it. <laughs> it's actually pretty hilarious. That is pretty hilarious. I'll, I'll give them credit where credit is due with that one, man. But anyway, let's keep it moving, just kind of going towards the end here. I'm skipping over some stuff. This one's a little bit more Warcraft. So we're getting some more Warcraft, like promotional material and stuff. That's pretty dope. I'm guessing this is gonna be like Warcraft, like some of the earlier games. Warcraft 3 poster, which is right here. Or no, this right here. This is the Warcraft 3 poster, which is pretty, pretty awesome, man. Play some of the different shields and emblems. Really, really dope. Again, if you're if you're a PC fan and you play this series, like again, this is so up your alley. Look at this. Look, this is artwork is amazing. I love the layout of like how it's just like giving some of the bigger pieces like their due, like giving them their their spread, you know, so you could just take it all in like that. It's not like how some other art books will they'll have like multiple pieces on here, but like they're originally like huge spreads, like they're huge. Uh, pieces and you just don't don't give them the space to actually you know be marveled at you know what I'm saying but anyway keep it going now I will admit also I do like I should mention because I didn't say it earlier before having the information on the bottom that says like what is what I appreciate that uh, like above here this is from a wow comic book and this was also from a wow comic but it also says like the year it says what type of image it was whether it was a painting and it's a, these a lot of these are digital images already but it's good to at least you know know that some of that stuff is there. It even talks about pencil artwork, 2004, 2003. One of them here, the Warcraft Footman on the top left, this was done in 96, and some of these were done in 95. These were done in like 2000s. Pretty cool, pretty cool, man. Look at, check out the panda. Check out the panda guy, he's pretty awesome. There's a little panda, little panda child, he's cool. But let's keep moving. We're going towards the end now, so I'm gonna start wrapping this up. But you guys get the general idea of what this book is about. Look at this, hold on a second. Star. Oh, we're getting to StarCraft now, hold on. Hold on, let, let me see the beginning of this first off. Let me get me, because I like StarCraft. I'm pretty sure many of you do as well. Here we go, StarCraft. So it's basically divided by franchise or divided by game, which I appreciate. So we went through all that Warcraft stuff. We went through a bunch of original stuff. And then we got more StarCraft over here. Look at that, we got the Marauder. What else we got? We got Zerg in here. We got where, where the Zerg at? Stalker, the hybrid. Wonder where the Zerg's at, son. <laughs> But yeah, we got a bunch of stuff. Phoenix, Dark Ar Dark Archon, a whole bunch of stuff, man. I love this. This is cool. Then we got to some, ooh, Diablo, yeah. Yeah, look at this Diablo work, man. This Diablo pencil work, this is cool. Hold on, let me go back. Some of this, this is more StarCraft stuff, but yeah. Look at that, Zerglings, or the Zerg peoples. I love this, man, this is so cool. 
and then Hearthstone, which I'm guessing these are the Hearthstone cards, like some of the artwork for the cards that people play on, on PC. Uh, let's go a little bit forward now. Look at that. Look at that. That is a happy holiday panda, man. Look at that. That is freaking amazing. <laughs> that should be a good, like, giant poster and put on somebody's wall. <laughs> this would be amazing. Got a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So I'm skipping through some more of these things, the more Hearthstone. I'm just trying to just peek at some of these here. Go through. And then we're getting towards the end where there's a little bit more line work, a little bit more sketches, which is cool. A lot of fun sketches randomly. And then we got here, uh, Samwise Speaks. So I'm guessing this is just a conversation with Samwise talking about like his work and everything else. What is this? Is that, that's a that's a Dell uh, keyboard with a whole bunch of doodles on it. I guess that was his keyboard back in the day. <laughs> Look at that, more doodles here, more words, which I'm not gonna read through any of this. This is pretty long. If you get the book, you'll be able to see like what they're talking about or read up on what they're talking about. Look at this, this is pretty cool. I like this. So yeah, there you go. That is pretty much brutal, the art of Samwise, okay, in its entirety, pretty much. It's a great book. If you love gaming coffee table books, if you love just art books, just to include in your collection, and especially if you're a fan of any Blizzard game like Warcraft, Starcraft, Diablo, etc., this is right up your alley. I highly suggest that you check it out. I, it gives the seal of approval from me. So, that being said, those are all my thoughts about Brutal, The Art of Samwise. Let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comment section. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel. Tell me some of the other gaming art books or other types of art books you guys want me to feature on the channel and give like a review and unboxing for that you're curious about. I wanna make sure that I do some of the content that you guys are really gonna dig. So anyway, I will talk to all of you again very soon. Peace out and stay epic, everybody. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Go ahead and click the boxes on the side to see more videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to go visit my Patreon page for exclusive gaming content that I know you'll really love. Hope you have a chill day. Peace out and stay epic, everybody.